when running the electrical wiring from the panel, every time you cross it through, uh, through some boards on the edge, make sure to secure the wiring with a plate. Now, if you've got plenty of wiring, try to secure it in the middle of the board. Run it to whatever lighting. And as you can see, we keep a certain distance by keeping the wiring right in the middle of the board. This will protect it from any nails hitting it and causing an electrical short. Every two by four, we have a plate that will secure from if you're nailing the nailing on the wall and the nail hits this uh, this area it will actually protect the electrical wiring in case you're using a very long screw so you do that in every section where the wiring runs through this will prevent any uh, future accidents now if you pay attention on this particular line see on it the uh on top of it on that board we also have those plates that will protect that section from any nails. When installing outlet boxes, make, sh make sure that you measure from the ground to the beginning of your electrical box exactly at 16 inches from the bottom section. We don't just use metal plates to protect the electrical wiring, but you wanna also use the metal plates to protect a gas line, or in this case also, those water lines. So in this case, we got electrical wiring coming out of here. Then we have the uh, copper lines, water, water lines, also protected by those plates. On the outlets that will go on a countertop, you wanna measure from the floor all the way to the top, measuring either 44 inches from the bottom of the box or four feet from the top section of the box. Now we have our sewer here for the uh, sink and we have the hot and cold water line. And right next to it, we have an outlet box. Always make sure that you put GFCI outlets on anything that's close to a water line, closer than six feet. On and off switches or switch bo switch boxes to turn on lighting, uh, also 42 inches from the bottom section of the box. Make sure to always install boxes for outlets and switches for everything that you need. Now, if you are trying to install the three-way switches for lighting, uh, make sure you refer to that uh, specific video and uh, get instructions on the wiring on three-way switches. That's all for today.